Hi everybody, I am here with Desiree and Dr. Hertak, who are experts in the UFO research field. Tell me a bit about what you guys do. It's very fascinating. Well, as you see here by the robot, we're interested in future science, working with German and Japanese scientists who've developed the fourth generation of robots. And they feel by the fifth generation of robots, robots will have a human personality, human smell, even uh, engineers will marry their own robots rather than their wives. So this is all bringing us closer to what extraterrestrials are all about because you know we think of them flying in a flying saucer but we know that they don't go linearly like we do. They actually can bend space and time so they can get here really quickly. And I know this movie talked about them being from Venus, but I think that was a code word for love and compassion what they want to share with us. That's better than Mars because they live far far away and that's what's exciting about them. They have been coming since the 50s, even since 1940 seven to visit us and to help us and to help us evolve so we can be like them with technology. What have been the most recent discoveries in the extraterrestrial field? Well I was just in uh, Brazil in um, March of this year and I talked to ex-military officials who showed me pictures of spaceships that had landed in, in Brazil and as you know the Brazilian government is pushing documentation through the United Nations to make extraterrestrial science and studies a very important part of the UN agenda. In the event that in the future we have contact, there needs to be a space diplomacy, a space law, a space sociology. So this film that we're at tonight is a preparation really to get young people throughout the world to see other possibilities, robots, other life forms, and even those that may be similar to us. But since the 50s and 60s, when they talk to the governments, and they talk not only to the U.S. government, but also governments in Russia and around the world, I think they've given up. I think now they're coming to the people. And people in England and in Peru and in Mexico are seeing like flotillas of vehicles over their heads. And film crews are going out there and recording them. So I think there's now coming to all of us. So we're prepared because things are happening on this planet and they want to make sure we're ready. And for those who are of the Hispanic tradition, our colleague uh, Jaime Maussan, Mexico City with Televisa and his own program now is probably the best voice to go to in terms of worldwide documentation. So our salutations also to our brothers, amigos, amigas throughout Latin America.